And earlier today, Fox 5's Andrew Nomura sat down with Adisa Al-Kabulan, a professor of Africana Studies at SDSU, to talk about the current protests and some possible solutions moving forward. Well, I think, you know, people around the world, but particularly here in the United States and certainly in San Diego, uh, are pretty much, you know, saying that, you know, enough is enough. You know, we've been subjected to a number of forms uh, of oppression uh, for generations. Uh, and at a time where there has been, you know, probably the biggest transfer of wealth in the first stimulus package as a result of uh, COVID-19. Uh, and, you know, people are frustrated um, uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, and certainly, you know, the, the murders of um, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, uh, George Floyd, and so many, you know, others uh, is happening uh, at a time uh, where people are already uh, frustrated uh, with the government, uh, frustrated with uh, society and the, you know, and the role that African Americans play within society, uh, and, and, you know, other peoples of color uh, as well. Uh, but what we need to see happening is a change of policy and practice. So I think that it's important uh, for Americans to stay uh, putting pressure uh, on elected officials and also people who are supposed to protect and serve. We have to continue putting pressure uh, so that there are policy changes, so that uh, the practice of uh, policing and the entire criminal justice system uh, go through changes because otherwise, you know, we're going to find ourselves right back here at some point, uh, perhaps in the near future or the distant future. But the, uh, but the point is that if we do not implement a real uh, tangible, measurable change in terms of changing policies uh, and practices, uh, then we'll be right back here uh, in the future.